The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning. Good morning. This is uh, John Otero. I'm the National Remote Field Commander Sales Manager, and I also uh, want to thank you for your time. I know your time is uh, priceless, so for you to spend uh, with us, uh, we do appreciate it. I'd also like to thank Dan Griffith with Interlink Supply of Northeast Ohio for sponsoring this event. Um, so I, I appreciate you, Dan. He is online. Um, you guys are, all of you are muted right now. Um, however, if you have any questions, please go ahead and uh, type them in the, uh, in the chat box or the question box, and we'd be glad to uh, cover that throughout the uh, uh, presentation. Uh, just a quick background of my uh, history. I've been in the restoration and cleaning industry for 24 years. Um, out of the 24 years, 12 years, I uh, spent uh, time doing exactly what you do, and, and it's... Uh, it's a great industry to be in, obviously, after 24 years. You, you'll learn a lot. You've seen a lot. I also do a lot of um, CE classes around the country uh, for adjusters and agents. So it's been, it's been interesting to pick the brain of uh, the other side of the industry. You know, we, we know our side very well, but to listen to the, um, the stories and the frustrations adjusters and agents have, Regarding our industry, it's been fabulous to learn and to uh, to see what we need to change. Um, the remote field commander, remote monitoring is is not uh, new. It's been around. However, the technology uh, hasn't been advanced as as we have uh, now, and the price point. Um, remote monitoring it would be anywhere from four to forty five hundred dollars but you had limited technology and today we're going to show you some new technology we're also going to show you how to get your invoices paid faster so I was talking to uh, one adjuster and he had an interesting comment he says when it comes to uh, the invoices he says we're looking for validation to pay for the restorers invoices exactimate codes doesn't tell us everything we need to know about the job that is why we ask questions regarding the invoice. If you can provide us documentation on why you used your equipment on the flood job, then we can pay your invoices faster. So what we found interesting in a statistic uh, in a survey was that 70% of independent restoration companies do not provide documentation on their jobs. 70% of independent restoration companies do not provide documentation on their jobs. That's, that shocked me, to be honest with you. So that means only 30% are providing documentation. Now, 85% of franchise restoration companies do provide documentation on their jobs. And that's one of the reasons, there's other reasons, but one of the main reasons why insurance companies, large insurance firms, are dealing and want to deal with franchises because they provide the documentation, the validation that the jobs are done. Now, if you're just providing an Xactimate invoice and you're not providing documentation, how do I know the job is done, right? So that's what the remote field commander is going to be able to do. It's going to provide you with detailed reports for your jobs to validate the work you're doing and to prove that you're, you're done. Now, for example, um, you and I know that at nighttime the homeowners turn off equipment. Well, the adjusters also know that they turn off equipment. What they don't realize is, let's say Mrs. Jones turns off the equipment 10 o'clock at night, puts it on at 6 o'clock in the morning. That's eight hours of downtime. What the adjusters don't realize is that when you're just using air movers and dehues, we're not talking ETAS or heat drying or anything like that, you're just using conventional equipment, air movers and dehues, it takes another six to eight hours for that evaporation process to catch up when they got, they got turned off. So that can be anywhere from 14 to 16 hours of unproductivity going on in that house when the homeowners turn off the equipment. So then the adjusters ask, well, Steve, why are you taking so long to dry the home? 
Well, now you have to provide that documentation. Well, with the remote field commander, it'll it first of all it'll email you and text message you when your equipment goes off. And you'll be able to turn on and off equipment from your cell phone, iPad, tablet, or computer. So you 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 will you will know exactly when your equipment's on or off. We're also finding out those who have the RFC, um, they're getting paid faster. They're getting less pushback uh, because of the documentation that is being provided uh, from the RFC. So I thought I'd share that a little bit of information on that for you. So how does the remote field commander work? The base station uh, sits at the customer's house. Okay, There's a SIM card inside uh, the base station. So it's like your, your cell phone. As soon as it's plugged in for power, it communicates to the cell phone towers. So I do not need a Wi-Fi, a telephone jack, Ethernet cord, modem, nothing. I just plug it in, boom, I'm communicating with the cell phone towers, with the servers in the clouds. The, this is the uh, complete package. Um, it comes with six sensors and three remote power controllers in a carrying case. Um, and also, <clears throat> excuse me, includes batteries and screws, uncoated screws to monitor uh, non -pen our, our uh, moisture content as well. So the sensors are tracking five readings. Air temperature, relative humidity, GPP, moisture content, and surface temperature. Now, some of you aren't tracking surface temperature, which is understandable. However, in the new S500 guidelines, they are going to request more surface temperature, and that's the reason we added that into this package. Other remote monitoring systems uh, do not include that. They don't have the SIM cards. Uh, they don't have the technology of turning on and off equipment from your cell phone, iPad, computer, tablet, so that's where it's kind of separate. And as you can see, our package is $22.98. And again, that includes six sensors and three remote power controllers. Well, how do the power controllers work? We'll show you that in a little bit. Let's go back to the sensors. So to get moisture content, some of you asking, how do you do that? Uh, you're going to drill uh, uh, uncoated screws into the, the sill plate the drywall, the subfloor, and the screws, when they're wet, will create conductivity, and that will give us our moisture content through the sensors, and we'll be able to see that um, through our computer or iPad or cell phone. Power controllers. Uh, plug this into the wall, similar to this, and then you can plug it into any piece of equipment. It can be an air mover, it can be an e-test, it could be a DHU, an air scrubber, whatever you like. <clears throat> and that's going to allow you to turn on or off equipment. And we'll show you that in a little bit live demonstration. But it also will tell you if it lost power. Um, it won't tell you how you lost power. Either the homeowner turned it off or you blew a circuit. It won't tell you that, but it will tell you if you lost power. Now, how important is that? Let me give you a, a story what, what happened to us. We're doing a demo for a restoration company, and uh, we got there at about 8 o'clock in the morning, and uh, they extracted the water, and they're doing their setup, and we set up the remote power controller and the uh, RSC base station, everything going on. At 2 o'clock in the afternoon, we get a call. I get a call from the owner of the restoration company. He goes, John, are you at, uh, at, the, at the flood job this morning, Mr. Jones? I said, no. I knew why he was calling, but he goes, uh, I got a text message that the uh, basement DHU had been turned off. I said, yeah. He goes, did you turn it off? I said, no. I said, that's what this does. He goes, that is valuable information because it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. My guys, we're not going to go until tomorrow morning to go check on the job. So if I didn't know that the equipment turned off at 2, I wouldn't know. Uh, it would have done nothing that whole whole night. I said exactly, and that's where he started to realize that this this information is very powerful and very valuable. 
Now, the base station can run up to uh, 14 sensors total. So it comes with six, but you can purchase and add up to 14 sensors. And as long as one sensor is within 200 feet of the base station, you can have another sensor go another 200 feet, and this one another 200 feet. And as long as all of them are within 200 feet of each other, you can go some far distance. And what happens is the data from the sensor will just piggyback off the next sensor and into the base station. So if you have a large commercial job, a large residential job, a hotel, apartments, uh, you can use these and go a far distance. Power controllers, you can also um, use up to uh, get up to 14 power controllers off of one base station as well. Um, and each sensor is $173 each if you like some more, and the power controllers are 206 But valuable information. Now, since you're in the restoration industry, I already know the first thing you're thinking is, can I charge that and exactimate? Because that's our thought process, right? Yes, you can. The code is WTRRM. It's $55 a day um, for that in exactimate. However, if for some reason you, um, you could not get to Mrs. Jones' house today to get the readings, just going on your computer and downloading the reports, um, that will save you uh, anywhere from $75 to $150 every trip to go out to the job. And some of it based on the weather, distance, you know, different things. Um, that's powerful information. Some of you might not be getting to each job and getting the readings. With this, you'll have the readings uh, at all times. Now, we are not promoting not to go to the jobs. Uh, we are promoting documentation and validation, but sometimes you're not going to be able to go um, for various reasons, but you still will have the data. So again, the, custom, the uh, base station sits in the customer's house, and then the sensors are going to give the readings to the base station, and the power controller is going to tell us if the equipment's on or off, and you can also turn on or off <coughs> excuse me, the equipment from your cell phone, iPad, or tablet. So each sensor has a serial number. So instead of trying to change the names of the sensors all the time, um, you can assign uh, the sensors to have uh, you know one location, maybe the master bedroom, or we develop this tracking form where the guys just go on the job, they write down the serial number of the base station, serial number of the serial uh, of the sensors and the power controllers, and then they will write down where they're located. And once they do get back to the office or they give it to the project manager, the project manager can then change the the location uh, uh, or the sensors into an actual location. And uh, it's pretty simple. This is an example of uh, one of the reports. Okay, so there's two reports that you get. Um, there is one that has a graph, and uh, it's automatically done. You you don't create it; it's automatically done for you. All the all the report will ask you is what rooms do you want to see, and so at the end you're going to have a legend. You'll find out what's going on. You'll be able to put your company logo at the top of the report and insert pictures into this report. So this might be the the basement and so you'll have uh, you can write some notes uh, and then the the adjuster will realize that here's some pictures of what's going on uh, in that uh, on that report. Um, the next one let's see let's get to the next report here. Here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, this is a timestamp. So this one is every minute, but you can change it and customize the report to every 30 minutes, 45 minutes, uh, every hour, two hours, three hours. Doesn't matter. Whatever you like, um, you'll you can have the report look uh, have the data you want. Um, and again, these are. Um, uh, one thing I didn't tell you is that these readings are third-party verified, meaning that you will not be able to manipulate, uh, delete, or change readings. Okay, the other 
remote monitoring, you're allowed to do that. But these are locked in. You will not be able to delete, which is what adjusters want. They want to realize that uh, uh, you can't manipulate them. And so these are real-time readings. Not sure if you've heard of Net Claims Now. Net Claims Now, uh, what they do is they actually will do uh, the billing for you. Uh, for example, uh, I don't know if you knew this or not, but Xactimate has 70,000 codes. And some of you haven't done an Xactimate class, don't have the time to do it. And Xactimate billing can take three or four or five hours. But for $69, Net Claims Now will actually do the billing for you, for the Xactimate billing. And they really love having the remote field commander's data because they can, they can easily, uh, if you have it, they can actually gather the data from, for, from you or for you and put it in the reports. In addition, if, if you're interested in Net Claims Now, you can visit them or you can uh, let me know if you would like some information. I can have someone call you. They also get you jobs. Um, they've given out 300 jobs in the last 30 days. Um, and you don't pay for the jobs until you actually get the job done. Uh, so it's a, a great, uh, great company to be with. They sponsor. They love having the remote field commander. So I thought I'd share that with you as well. I know, Nikki, you have a question. We'll get to that question uh, at the end of the presentation. We're, we're actually almost done. We, we didn't want to make this a long presentation because we know your, your time is valuable. We're going to go to uh, the actual report to show you what it looks like. Um, we're going to log in here real quick. When you get your remote power or the RFC, it's going to provide your username and password. And once you get that, uh, then you'll be able to actually see what's going on in the job. Now, you can see the job, your readings, from two ways. There's an RFC charter software that you would download onto your, your PC, your, your, your laptop, if you like, or your computer. And this is how you actually run the reports from the RFC software. But from your cell phone or iPad, um, I can't do it off of a webinar. If I went offline onto an internet, uh, you would see a black screen. So I'm just going to show you from the software. But this is similar to on your, uh, on your cell phone or iPad what you're going to see. So we're going to remote connect uh, to it. There's, uh, you can have multiple base stations going on at the same time. So here's uh, Mrs. Jones, uh, Mrs. Smith, Ms. Garcia. We're just going to hook up to, to Mrs. Jones here, and we're going to uh, retrieve the data. So here we can see that the DEN has the, the relative humidity, the air temperature, surface temperature. There's no moisture content because I don't have the, the screws going into the sill plates or anything, the GPP. And then you can just kind of scroll down, see what's going out on with the other jobs or with the other rooms, right? And we can also see that the living room dehue is on. But let's say I want to turn it off. You just go to uh, click off, send updates. And now you can see we turn off the living room dehue. And so you would have multiple remote power controllers. Living room DHU, dining room DHU, living room air movers, living room e test, whatever you like. It doesn't matter what kind of piece of equipment, injected dry, um, you can turn on and off equipment. You can also have it send you alarms. So if, if, uh, if the uh, living room DHU goes on or goes off, uh, now you're going to get an email or text message saying, hey, living room DHU is off. So you can try to override it, go back on. So we would just kind of go back, send updates, try to put it on, and it'll tell you if it's on or off here at the bottom of the of the screen right here. All right, all right, good. Now we got it back on, so everything's fine. If it didn't go on, then you're going to want to call the homeowner and say, "Hey, Miss Jones, um, just wanted to see if you've lost some power in the 
uh, living room dehued, did it get unplugged by accident, something like that. Um, and then you can check on it that way or have technicians go to the job uh, and check that out as well. So there's so many features that uh, the remote field commander um, ha has now compared to uh, in the past. Um, some of you might be asking, is there a, since we're using the SIM card, we're using cell phone towers, is there a monthly service charge? There is a monthly service charge after one full year of free service. Um, so once you purchase the unit, $22.98, there is no monthly service charge for a year. In Xactimate, you're charging $55 a day in Xactimate. We have not, I have not had one RFC customer tell me they haven't gotten paid on it. Um, and after the full year, uh, to keep the SIM card activated, uh, first of all, there's no contracts. It's $20 a month to keep the SIM card activated, $15 a day for only the days you actually use it. So you're charging $55 a day in Xactimate. You're being charged $15 a day. But don't forget, if you didn't have to go to Ms. Jones to get the readings and pay the labor and pay the gas time, you're saving anywhere from $75 to $150 a trip. So your return on your investment is uh, very, very quick on that. Let me see if there's, I think Nikki had uh, had asked a question. Let me see if we got that. Uh, questions, let's go here. Oh, looks like she might have uh, taken the question back. Maybe I had answered that uh, question. Um, and that's pretty much about it. Uh, now, regarding training, what happens when you buy the, buy the, the, the package, um, the remote field commander. First of all, we have training videos that are two or three, four minutes long, and so they train you how to, just in chapters, how to do the uh, use the remote field commander. Uh, and then I also will provide a live webinar training for you and your staff. So we actually will hook up to your computer, and we'll show you how to use the system. Uh, it's very simple to use. I did forget to tell you that you can actually program uh, the equipment to turn off and on based on uh, certain readings. For example, uh, let's say in the den or the the the, the uh, in the den, I want the the dehu to turn off at a certain relative humidity. So let's say uh, uh, we're going to assign it to turn off at uh, you know 25% relative humidity. By then, we should know we're dry. Right, or you can assign it to an e-test, and you don't want it to get over 125 degrees on the surface, or 115, or anything like that. You can actually program the remote field commanders to turn on and off based on what you want. So it can be controlled based on relative humidity. It can be based off of air temperature, or moisture content, or surface temperature. But uh, there's so many, so many tools that you can use. Uh, for this uh, technology. Um, I hope uh, I've answered all your questions. Um, let me type in, let's see here, I was going to, uh, here we go, I'm going to type in my my cell, cell number. If you have any additional questions, you're more than welcome to call me. If you'd like me to do a personal um, webinar with your staff, and, and so the whole company can see um, what is going on with this technology. I'd be glad to do that as well. You would purchase the remote field commander from uh, uh, Dan Griffith, Interlink Supply, East Ohio, Northeast Ohio, and that's where you would purchase the equipment. Dan, have I missed anything, or would you like to add anything to the uh, presentation? I know you have some classes also coming up. Yeah, uh, thanks again for your time, John, and thanks for all your time to those out there listening. Um, we do have an event this Thursday. Um, it's kind of an appreciation night as well as a networking event uh, with uh, restoration professionals, insurance uh, agents and adjusters, um, and that's at the Market Garden Brewery 
uh, from six to nine. We were off for some free drinks. Um, just like I said, it's more of an appreciation night. It's been a busy winter so far, and we want to pay that back to you guys. Um, also, our IICRC class is coming up uh, in April. We have Fire and Smoke on April 7th and 8th, and uh, WRT April 9th, 10th, and 11th. Um, so if you're interested in that, please uh, give me a shout. Great. Well, thank you very much, Dan, for sponsoring the event. Thank you, uh, all those who, who attended this webinar. I, I know your time is valuable, and for you to spend it with us, we, we highly appreciate it. Uh, again, if you have any questions, get with uh, Dan, give me a call, but uh, hopefully you guys will use this technology and help separate you from your competition and help you get paid faster. Thanks a lot for your time, guys. Have a great day.